In this virtual conversation. These steps that we're taking are what we hope are the beginning of a transformation. Racine city leaders hope the community can help answer big questions on how to improve policing. Really for this to work, I need to hear from the community about what their concerns are and what their hopes are. Racine Mayor Corey Mason recently created a task force on police reform. Its goal to review the department's use of force policies and decide whether to create a citizen review board. So without further ado, we'll get right into the first question. Among the questions asked, where does the Racine Police Department need to improve? Arrests should not always be the first go-to. Helping police kind of understand and think about the power dynamics that they, they bring to every interaction that they have. To treat people like a human being, I guess. And how can Racine police officers eliminate racial profiling and ensure public trust? Is that it's important to have a police department that looks somewhat like the community and that when officers are partnering together, somebody looks like the person of that community that they're going into. I think across the country, uh, cities are grappling with the relationship that they have uh, between their police and their community. Ideally, we're getting everybody on the same page and using this process to begin to build on some trust that's needed in the wake of the George Floyd murder. The recommendations from tonight's conversation will go to the mayor's task force on police reform. That task force will report its findings within 90 days. In Racine, I'm Ben Wagner, WISN 12 News.